Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my assembly on January the 29th, which is a Friday. On Monday of this week, it was my birthday. Can I say a great big thank you to everybody for your good wishes, people who've made cards for me, people who've posted things on um, Facebook. Now, I don't use Facebook that much other than I use it to check on the school website. I don't post anything, but I, I saw quite a lot of um, messages going up, which really cheered me up. So thank you so much, everybody. You might be wondering what I've got around my neck. Well, actually, it was a present that I got for my birthday from my brother. Um, it's, you can see lovely colours, and it's called a snood, but it also acts as a face covering. So I'm going to show you. So if I go into a shop and I'm wearing this, I don't need a mask or anything, this will do. So isn't that just great? Remember, we all need to stay safe. We need to follow the government guidelines. I hope you will have seen on the news that Boris Johnson is looking to begin opening, reopening schools from the 8th of February, uh, sorry, from the 8th of March. That isn't guaranteed, but keep watching the news, keep looking out, because we're desperate to get everybody back in the school as quickly as we can. But in the meantime, it's really important that you stay safe, that you wash your hands, that you don't go and visit friends' houses, you stay within your own bubble. Remember to try and keep up with your remote learning. We have reading eggs, we have Times Table rock stars, we have my maths, as well as the work that's going up every day from your teacher. Remember, if you're struggling with the work from your teacher, you can email. But in the meantime, if you if you haven't got a response yet, you can always go on to those three websites that I've mentioned earlier. Thanks to everybody who's been trying really hard to keep up with their remote learning, with their learning from home. Today, we have been ringing around because we do now have some of the government laptops that we're trying to loan out to people in case that, who, who might be struggling at home. So I'm hoping that that will help those people who might be struggling. We'll move straight on to the class awards. In the nursery, someone who has settled really well into the bubble, because this is somebody whose parents are key workers, therefore he's coming in, and that person who's working really hard is Musa. So there's a virtual high five to Musa. Well done, Musa. Also in nursery, someone who has been trying really hard with reading eggs and showing up to every single lesson which is brilliant Aaron so there's a virtual high five for Aaron as well well done Aaron we'll move on to reception class in reception class for fantastic craft work at home well done Adiba there's a virtual high five to Adiba well done to you also, someone who has produced beautiful writing in the school bubble is Zoe. Virtual high five for Zoe. Well done, Zoe. After my assembly, I'm going to go around to see Musa and Zoe and to give them a sticker. In year one, someone who has been doing some excellent work in maths, using inventive ways to create number bonds, is Yasin. Well done, Yasin. Great maths. Keep that up. There's a virtual high five for you. Someone else in year one who's been working really hard with her reading during reading lessons, Zainab. Well done, Zainab. There's a virtual high five for you. In year two, someone who has an amazing attitude to remote learning, Miss Justice looks forward to reading this person's work every single day, and that is Evan. Well done, Evan. There's a virtual high five for you, young man. Also, someone who has put in exceptional effort in all areas of remote learning, whose work is just fabulous, Ariana. Well done, Ariana. There's a virtual high five for you. In year three, someone who is improving her confidence online especially in her reading lessons where she's doing ever so well. Kelly, well done Kelly, 
there is a virtual high five for you. Also, someone who has made great effort trying to keep up with all the work, because I know there's a lot of work out there, and these times are very difficult, but someone who's been really trying hard, Lucas, well done Lucas, there's a virtual high five for you as well. In year four, for some amazing work at home, and not only is it amazing, it is also always so beautifully presented and beautifully set out with neat handwriting. Amelia. Well done, Amelia. Virtual high five for you. Also in year four, someone who is in a great routine. So this person works really hard at home and works really hard in his remote learning lessons, in his live lessons. Michael. Well done, Michael. There's a virtual high five for you too. In year five, the next person has shown great resilience to overcome challenging circumstances. And this person always manages to let his light shine. And that is James. So well done, James. Virtual high five to you. The next person in year five, someone who has shown great confidence, which is improving, and is making excellent verbal contributions to live lessons. Hasiba, well done Hasiba, there's a virtual high five for you. Year six, someone who has amazing engagement during live lessons. Harley, well done Harley, there's a virtual high five for you. And last but not least, someone who puts his all into remote learning and consistently produces work of a brilliant standard, Danny. So there is a virtual high five for Danny. Well done, everybody. So while you are with me still, what we would normally do if we were all in school is to pray together. So can you join me in a final prayer as a family, as a remote family, as an online family? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Can we pray for all of those people who have been affected by COVID, including ourselves? Can we pray for those children in our school who are finding it really difficult to engage in their online learning? And can we ask God, whatever name we give to our God, to look after these people and give them encouragement? God our Father, I come to say, Thank you for your love today. Thank you for my family and all the friends you give to me. Guard me in the dark of night and in the morning. Send your light. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next week, everybody. Bye.